welcome to a new video from me, made by me. I thought about making this video for a long time, but uh, I haven't done it. And uh, then today I thought, well, let's do it. Um, I want to show you how to disassemble your computer. In this case, it's uh, an Acer Travelmate, pretty old, but uh, it works fine. Uh, I want you to show how to. I want to show you how to remove the dust from the fan, which it collects a lot of. Um, I found out that uh, it's the easiest uh, computer to do it on. Uh, I've seen uh, that an HP is pretty hard to disassemble. I don't know about Toshiba or IBM or any of those, but uh, Acer seems to be the easiest one to disassemble. So um, here we go, and I hope you enjoy it. Here you have the laptop. Uh, first you want to flip it over, <coughs> upside down, and then you have these nine screws all around. That's the the only one of them that uh, you have to remove. You don't have to remove any of the other things. To start with, just for safety reasons, make sure the computer is all switched off. Pull out the battery, and all you need is a screwdriver. Mm, it doesn't have to be that big. And then you just uh, pull out all these screws. Now that you have uh, undone all the screws, then you just pull out off each of these sections. And take out the screws that didn't come off in the first place. And make sure not to throw any of these screws away because they are a bit hard to come over. And uh, there you have it. Your hard disk and your RAM, uh, and then of course your fan. You have to undo two screws to get off your fan and get uh, in <coughs> to where the, all the dust collects. I'll just put these screws away. Then I can just lift up your fan, and mine isn't that dusty because I cleaned it a week ago, but you can still see that it has some dust in it. Then you need to clean the dust off here. You can use a vacuum cleaner if you want to be pretty gentle because there are lots of expensive parts in a computer, of course. So you have to clean off these two vents, and uh, if you want to, you can take off this cover of your um, fan and clean the fan itself. On this Acer the fan is just uh, secured in place by magnets um, and when that's done you just uh, if you want to take out the fan you just undo it there, pull it out, undo these screws and then you can clean it inside and make sure to uh, put it back in place as it was when you took it out. And that's pretty easy. You just have to assemble it now, and uh, then it should be up and running again. And um, that's it. So uh, when you've got the computer fully assembled again, it's just few plastic pieces that you have to put on. You just fire it up and it should be working just as well as when you took it apart. But this uh, thing with cleaning the fan, it just uh, makes sure that your laptop survives a bit longer and that it uh, doesn't break that much because it can cool better than uh, before if it's uh, clogged up with dust it gets very hot and I have done this uh, a few times and it's so easy to do uh, I didn't know um, I didn't know that much about the computer before I did it 
I just went ahead and uh, disassembled it. And I haven't had any problems with my computer. It runs like it was new and I keep it fresh with uh, disk defragmentations and so on. Um, so it's two or three years old today. But um, it still works perfectly. I haven't had any viruses or anything or overheat. So it's perfectly safe to do and uh, I recommend that you do it uh, once every second week or something like that to make sure that it's cleaned. But um, that's all from me and um, see you next time in another video. I don't know what to do but uh, if you have some ideas to what I can uh, make in my films please write it in the comments below or contact me and all my contact information is in my channel um, goodbye